Welcome to our lecture online. Let's see if we now can distinguish between convex and concave polygons and whether or not there's polygons there in the first place. So here we take our, our first figure and yes indeed there's multiple sides, they're all straight line segments and there's kind of like a cave-in right here. So this is indeed a polygon and it's what we would call a concave polygon. On the next figure we have two line segments right here, but here we have a curve. Curve does not belong in a polygon, so no, we would not consider that a polygon. Here we do have a polygon, those are all straight line segments, and since we don't have any cave-in, so we call this a convex polygon. Here again, it looks like we have a polygon, but notice there's a little piece missing of this line segment, so it doesn't completely enclose, so we could say this is not a polygon. Coming up here, we can see here that this line segment here intersects with more than one other line segment. So therefore, we can say that this is not a polygon. Here, yes, we have nice line segments. Each line segment only connects to one on the line segment on either side of the line segment. There's a little cave-in right here, so we call this a concave polygon. Over here we have a rectangle that normally would be a polygon but because there's a line in the middle so that we have more than one connection of a line segment to another line segment so therefore this is not a polygon. And finally this has to be a polygon because we have all nice line segments, there's no multiple connections and no cave-in so this is called a convex polygon. And maybe we should add one more something that might otherwise confuse people. So let's see, what if we have something that looks like this? Kind of a bit of an hourglass. Notice that we have a cave-in on one side and a cave-in on the other side. So definitely it is a polygon that has all straight line segments, but it is a cave-in on this side, a cave-in on that side. So definitely this would be a concave polygon. So therefore, we've covered, I think, most different kinds of shapes we could encounter. That's how it's done.